good stuff going on in the Bayo matchup. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. And then they make one mistake. Everything snowballs from there, and they reach the tilt zone where just Bayonetta gets to press every button she wants, and there's nothing you can do because you're kind of defeated yourself at that point. Oh, yeah. And uh, so ever since Bayonetta came out and Tyra started playing Bayonetta, like they, you know, Tyra and Big Mac, for example, always had kind of a little mini rivalry. And they would play a lot, but it was, you know, Sheik and Meta Knight. Big Mac would be like, oh, I hate Meta Knight. And now it's Bayonetta, and both Big Mac and Dan, like, and a lot of the top players in the scene, it's just like, I, I don't want to fight Bayo. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to play against Tyler Bayo. And they, they have to. He is the wall that they have to go through if they want to win tournaments. Especially in Chicago now. He's just, he's gotten to that point. Especially when Ned's not here to, like, really challenge him. It's been a while since Tyro's been, like, knocked down a peg. Let's see what Dan can do with Mario today. I'm looking for a up air to nair combo. I'm trying to put. Oh, that Tyra was a bad spot, but ooh! I love everything about that down tilt into up smash attempt. Caught him with like the one, one or two frames that he even could have in that situation. All right, respecting that witch time at the ledge. Very nice stuff coming out from Dan. Punish a little bit slow there. He's gonna eat a couple of witch twists for it, and we're seeing that dare sneak out. But again, it looks like players are wising up to that today. I like what I'm seeing from the anti bayonetta style of play. You're not falling for the witch times at the ledge. You're not falling for those dare air dodge setups. Because those can be so violent, Good but speaking trait. of... Dan, real quick, getting off the ledge. And one thing that Dan's been doing a lot, you, um, and you'll notice it in neutral a little bit, he's been doing it more lately, and I think it helped him in the set against Big Mac as well, is he'll, like, in his first jump, he'll move kind of at, like, a 45-degree angle towards you, and then he'll empty hop straight up on the double jump. And he'll try to use it as a spacing tool to get you to drop shield, and there it was again. Mm -hmm. He's been doing it consistently, and it's really been helping him space against uh, these characters' neutrals. Uh, Bayonetta in particular, because Tyra's got such good micro spacing, you got to use every utility you have. As this game is about to be evened up with this jab combo, 20%. Oh, but Sneak not getting that turnaround grab, too. This is really good. I like the way that Dan has just been kind of trapping Bayo at the ledge. Not falling for any of her tricky ledge get-up shenanigans. It's been really nice to see. And look at that spacing again, you're talking about it. Little walk back. Turn around, pivot grab. Dan plan nice, but he's got to get away back to the stage. Not quite there yet. And Dan trying to get in. He had a good spot. He went for a grab against Bayo, who also went for a grab after Bayo did the side B. Um, and it was weird. I really thought Mario would get that grab first, and Bayo just kind of did. Well, avoiding both of those back airs. Very good air dodges coming out here from Dan does not want to fall victim to the back air situation. Because, like, this is the thing. You can live through all these Bayo combos for so long, but then you die to a back air? The most mortal move? Yeah, well, it's it's a good back air. It's like Zero <laughs> Suit Samus caliber back air. Yeah, I, I don't mean to undersell Bayo's back air. It is, it's pretty strong, but it's like you, you die in a last stock, last hit situation, just one hit. It feels kind of bad. Uh, Dan tries to... He got hit by that so that he could try to fall in with the neutral air. Didn't quite hit, but that was a good idea. Let's jump to the taxi platform here. Okay, grab comes in. That nice power shield from Dan. Just gets the up air out of it. This is where Mario struggles, finding kill options against a character like Bayo, who can just throw out kind of safe back airs for as long as she wants if she spaces correctly. Meanwhile, Mario's kind of got to fish for things. Like, a strong back air can kill if it's on the side, but you're looking at, like, up smash, back throw, forward throw, probably going to do it. Yep. Actually surprised that worked. Yeah, Dandy eyed it pretty well too, but they were right at the edge. Bayo had just gotten over the 100% rage, and Mario's damage at 140. It's just kind of, it's a rough spot to be in. So Bayo with the grab is going to take the stock, despite Dan playing around a lot of the, the Witch Tom times and uh, mm -hmm. other ledge attempts. That's something you Ty mentioned, <clears throat> is... Well, let's compare that to the, the Tyra vs. Jimmy match we just commentated earlier. Cloud is a very fast character with very strong disjoints that he can apply safely. And he can kind of run laps around Bayo in those last stock, last hit situations. He can really control the pace of the ground game. And Mario doesn't really have that luxury. He's kind of a slow plumber. He does have some safe aerials he can throw out, but again, like, his weight betrays him and his aerial drift kind of betrays him in those situations, unlike Cloud. And you can see why Bayo can just kind of take her time and wait for those back airs to present themselves, or in the case of game one, the forward throw. Yeah, well, we'll see if Dan can continue kind of... He's been playing really well in the matchup, considering the shortcomings that Mario has. Um, 
but he needs to kind of keep the games close. I didn't see him even go for a up smash the entirety of game one, except for that down tilt. Oh, that weight was so good from Tyra, yeah. though. He yeah, just... Tyra's not having any of it. He, he's starting to read a little bit of what Dan's been doing to try to affect the spacing, and he's been compensating for it in really good ways. And he there's... just hung out there waiting for Mario's aerial drift to present itself. Oh my god, and he catches him with the one hit of the forward air to get a back air. Tyra's combos get cooler every week. Well, he, he spends game one, like, understanding your DI preferences. And then game two, he's right there to have, like, the perfect Build-A-Bear combo to just destroy your DI preferences. Oh. And now these Witch Times are landing, which they weren't in game one. He wasn't really going for too many in game one. Like, oh, as Mario gets the back throw on ledge, not going to kill. I'm actually kind of surprised. Smart. I don't know, I'm, I didn't think that would kill any day, but I'm surprised it sparked in the first place. I believe jump is gone here for Mario. Nope. Good save. Good falling there as well. The Tyra is just, you see him, the, the little walk away there as Mario fishes for a grab. That is a thing that Tyra does to perfection, is when he suspects you're going to go for a grab as he catches that down tilt up air combo to win game two. When he suspects you're going to go in for a grab, he'll walk away. And it's not even like a perfect pivot away. He'll just kind of like shuffle away, like just far enough to where he can punish your grab attempt. And then he'll catch you with a down tilt or a dash attack or whatever he sees fit. And he's very, very good at that spacing game. As we're seeing the Luigi. What's up, Weege? You know, there is an argument to be made. Welcome to the League of Luigi. That Luigi has a, a pretty favorable matchup compared to Mario's versus Bayonetta. We're just talking national player representation because Elegant has played so well versus many Bayonettas, even having set wins on Tyroid in well, this exact matchup. However, it comes down to one very important question. Can you mash? And, uh, you know, like, not even going for the, the toilet bowl combo, as we like to call it here. I would have liked to see that from Dan go for like a forward throw, maybe. Like, nope. Nobody here calls it the toilet bowl combo. Uh, what do you call it? The downbeat. I've never heard that before. Oh, like, ever. In, ever SoCal, in SoCal, like, you flush them down the toilet. No, no, I get the, I get the reference, but I've never heard anyone in Chicago use that. That's new to me. Well, there you go. Huh. The toilet bowl. Tyra, that might it. not be the exact wording for it. I might be paraphrasing. All right, good tech. And taking damage because he teched. There's the witch time. Oh, the platform messing with that, but he's able to catch it. And not able to finish the stock with the witch time. But Tyroid did have a very good, clean first stock. Didn't take a lot of damage. Now I'm actually curious if Dan can mash with Luigi. I've never seen his Luigi before. He plays all of the Mario characters. <laughs> Going for it all with the upbeat. Gotta respect that a little bit. And this is gonna be the... Okay, well... He, he can mash. He can mash, he just can't drop down in time. He was a little too early on it. But I think that's also because Tyrant knew to take his time on the way back up. Crowd's into it. Double pummel back throw? Not gonna. Yeah, yes? gonna double pummel what? back throw at that percent. He's right at the edge. That back throw's good. Yeah, it's way better than Mario's. Maybe I'm just conditioned for Mario's. Well, Dan is on the screen. In fair in fairness to you. Alright, so Dan alive still. We'll see if something nasty can happen here, but alright. That bat within was could not have been worse timed, because he could have gone like Nair into like down B and just gotten some decent damage in. Popped Bayo up. And that's just gonna do it with the down tilt up air. So I like the idea. Going for Luigi. The Mario wasn't really working out, but Tyroy catching on too quickly. Dan wasn't exactly like fresh with the character. When you pick a character and you haven't touched the character and who knows how long. And for all we know, he hasn't played Luigi in a week or two or more. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit rough to shake the rust off, but Tyroy not having it, no mercy, takes 3-0, and he'll be sitting in grands waiting for the winner of the rest of the loser side bracket.